Hey, it's Jay Atlinski over here at Desert Home Premier. Today on number th number three is talk to your severe. One of the things we help you do immediately upon getting licensed and into our team is we help you understand how to talk to your sphere of influence. These people already know you and like you. Now they just gotta trust you that you know what you're doing. So part one of that trust thing is when you join our team, we have a marketing person, we have a listing coordinator, they do the heavy lifting for you and we're able to say, or you're able to say you have a team of specialists um, that immediately puts you from brand new to, okay, they're new, but this might work out. So um, one of the things we talk to our agents about, well, a lot of things, but first thing we do is gather your sphere of influence. So if you use um, Google, hopefully you're using Google because that's the calendar, the email, the contacts are all there. Uh, maybe Yahoo, MSN, hopefully you're not using Juno or <laughs> something like that. But we want you to download all of the people that are in your contact list. Uh, we help show you how to sort that and then start adding details like other phone numbers, emails that are missing, that type of thing. Then we talked about spending some time each day talking to your sphere. Now, you can't call them and say, hey, you know what, I just got my license. Are you thinking about buying a home? You could, and that's how most people do it, but that's not the way you want to do it. So last time in number two, we talked about being a local expert. So you can show that you understand your business. The next thing you need to build is trust, because that's the number one thing that people want, uh, especially in real estate, but in most businesses, they want to trust you. So what we ask people to do is to call, you know, we give you the list, there's you know four or five questions, Call them up, hey, how you doing? What's going on? How's the kids? What's you know, break the ice, get a little bit of conversation going, and then jump in and tell them, you know what, you, you probably saw on Facebook or you know you've heard through the grapevine that I left my job and I'm in real estate now. It's been awesome. I've joined, you know, if you if you joined us, you can say I joined a great team. They've got all the support for me. But the one thing, and this is this kind of a script that we would give you, is the one thing I wanted to really find out is what, tell me what you liked and didn't like about your last transaction in real estate. What did your realtor do or didn't do that you wish they had? So we have a, a list of those, but you can kind of get your own mind going and think of those questions. What you're really doing is interviewing them. And what you're laying is the groundwork for them to think, man, this person knows the market and they care about giving superior customer service because they're talking to me about what I didn't like or what I liked about the times I've sold or bought real estate. This is huge. This takes you from, hey, you wanna buy a house, selling my selling your house, to I actually care about you. I understand my business and now I wanna understand how I can better serve my clients. Um, it's, to me, it's huge and it's helped a lot of people. So this is tip number three out of eight. Um, these are all things I'm hoping you're focusing on, whether you join us or you know you go somewhere else. Um, be successful. To be successful, you really need to think as a business person. And a little bit deeper than that, build that trust with people. So I hope this helps. Uh, look forward to number four coming up. And if you have any questions ever, uh, reach out to Caleb or myself. I'm sure it's somewhere here on YouTube or our website or blog, wherever you found this. And we'd be happy to answer more questions. Thanks for watching.